Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people. It's Thursday, so it's time for another Rockstar News video, bringing you all of the updates from the past week of the Rockstar Newswire in one short video. On Tuesday, Rockstar finally released a Frontier Pursuits update for Red Dead Online. They've added three new Frontier Pursuits that each have their own unique activities and career paths. On top of that, there's new weapons, clothing, horse-drawn vehicles, new horse breeds, directional damage indicators so you know what direction you were shot from, the ability to change your character's appearance without resetting your game, in progress, role-specific free roam events, quicker animations in combat, and other game balancing and quality of life improvements. The update also brought with it the Wheeler, Rawson & Company Club, which is an entirely free program for anyone who logs into Red Dead Online between now and November 18th. You receive new clothing and accessories, some bonus cash, free care packages, and more. And for a whopping 35 gold bars, you can enroll in the Outlaw Pass, which brings even more exclusives. I wish I could give you my thoughts on this update to Red Online, but I haven't played it. Red Dead Redemption 2 is an amazing and breathtakingly beautiful game. Red Dead Online, however, it seems to be a dumpster fire that Rockstar can't quite figure out how to put out, no matter how much they piss on it. But what do you think? Has this update given you a reason to play Red Dead Online, or will you go on about in life ignoring Rockstar's Cowboy Simulator? And by the way, if you are interested in Red Dead Online, be sure to check out my buddy Sparing Donkey's channel. He'll be posting some Red Dead Online content from time to time. In GTA Online, the big news is the release of the Benefactor Krieger. You can check out my video from earlier today to see all the customization options for this car and even go for a quick test drive. I'm pretty much in love with the Krieger, even though it is the new most expensive non-weaponized vehicle in the game. And this coming Monday, you can watch me drive it up and back down Mount Chiliad to find out if it'll off-road. Because, you know, everybody's dying to know if a $3 million supercar is any good on a mountain. Or something. Be sure to spin the lucky wheel in the casino this week for your chance to win the podium vehicle, the Rivado Gauntlet Classic. Two new races are available to play, Mudslide and Troubled Waters, and you can find them in the race series. And you can earn some extra cash this week with double RP and GTA dollars on both the race series and stunt series. This week's premium race is taking off, the time trial is up and atom, and the RC time trial is Little Soul Park. If you need extra space for your growing car collection, you're in luck because you can save 40% off of all garages, excluding vehicle warehouses. And once you have all that extra space, you can fill it up and save 30% off the Picasso Infernus Classic, Asla Ardent, Vapid Clique, Shyster Deviant, Incongestor Classic, Vapid GB200, the Classy Hot Ring Saber, Vapid Dominator GTX, and the Grotty Cheetah Classic. And you can save some cash upgrading those vehicles of 40% off of upgrades for brakes and handling, engine, turbo, transmissions, spoiler Spoilers and suspensions. Twitch Prime members receive an additional 10% off of all those discounts, plus 70% off the Ramp Buggy and the Phantom Wedge. On top of that, you receive a 100% rebate for the Lago Zancudo Bunker after purchase. That's everything from the Newswire, so that's going to do it for this Rockstar News video. Until next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.